Good afternoon, everyone. It's Christine Trainer talking to you from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. It's about 4.14 in the p.m. here on the West Coast. And I do believe it's day 279 of my everyday journey, September 9th. Whoa, it's a bit of a wet day here, so that always happens this time of year here in the West Coast. It doesn't start to be really like a gorgeous time until the middle. Anyways, welcome. I talk about today on my everyday journey as I venture out and done I've done I've had my day well it basically it's another motivational Monday right and how can I motivate everyone when I'm having some issues myself well because I'm learning how to motivate myself every day how I'm trying to get myself in good shape how I get myself strong and well I, believe it or not guys we are going through terrible financial tr str struggles right now really bad and uh, I started a new venture and I'm still sticking to it and I'm doing it and because I believe in all I do, uh, my sweetie's, you know, he still has got himself some full-time work yet, so he's struggling too, and we're just barely hanging on, but we have each other. And so why am I talking about that a little bit of a negative point? I'm just talking about, here I am, coming on YouTube, telling you how things are, and I'm not very upset over it. I can have days where I get really stressed, like I did, I talked about a bit of a stressful time the other day. But you know what? I'm thinking like this. It's also Monday. It's so also the start of a new day, a new week. What can happen this week? So many wonderful things can happen. Because I woke up today, as I do every day, with my gratitude, my strong affirmations, keeping my mind strong. And I carried on with day with a positive, strong thought. And I have some beautiful friends I've been chatting with online that are very positive and wonderful, helping me get through the day. And this evening, I have a beautiful community where I, the work community I'm a part of, I have a wonderful motivational class. So here's the thing I think is a good thing to do. Be with people who will help you become, help you, that can motivate you and help you in the good times and bad to get you through the struggles that can really set you, scare you. Like I was actually a little bit terrified this week because um, I am doing something right now that could put me more into debt than usual but I also thought it's also a challenge for me to do this and it's a challenge I want to be a part of so it's another thing about motivation you know when you get up and you do your gratitude and some affirmations and you feel strong the day before write down your goals for the next for the next day Write down what you're going to do, guys. That's why I'm talking about this every single Monday. Because people do not write down the goals they want to set for, for the next day to achieve their big goal. They just get up, get started, and they go. And then they realize, oh, do I feel cruddy. Because they haven't put their mind into a strong sense of positivity. And I'm sending this out to you guys. Affirmations. But first of all, do a gratitude then some affirmations to get that mind in tune, get that subconscious thinking positive to get to your conscious so you'll have that positive mind every day. True gratitude can give you a sense of peace inside, a, a sense of happiness because you know your days are going to go well. Even if it turns out that the day didn't turn out, things will arise, so to speak. And you thought, whoa, your mind is staying positive and you can see a mistake was made. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. And you don't know if you can do it. Well, in your positive mind, your subconscious is staying positive, your positive mind, your subconscious is taken to your... Now, if you are, when you are a positive, strong person, just put it this way, and you stick to these little, tiny little suggestions that I'm saying every day, your subconscious positive mind are going to say, let's find a solution how we can fix this problem. Right? Let's do this. Let's figure it out. That would be the proper way. Most people, when they get upset over a mistake or a failure or whatever happened, go, oh my God, my life is at end. Oh, no. Sit. Do a sense of neutrality. That's what I want to say. A sense of neutrality. Put that positive thought inside your subconscious, setting it to your conscious mind and say, let's find a solution to how we can deal with these problems. That's the best way to be motivated and strong. Don't think that your bad problems are your worst problems because they're not. They are just life lessons that you need to find solutions for. And when you've taken care of it, you carry on. You don't look back, you carry on. That's another thing with motivation. Don't think about what happened in the past, what you made mistakes on, what is happening. Don't think like that. Think 
the now, think for the now and start up your future. And don't think, because if you think about the past, it doesn't, it'll not motivate you because you go, well, you know, I did this then, I did that then. Why would I want to do this now? It doesn't make sense. Why would I want to do this? I'm not more, I, I can't do it. I can't, and, and the word can't comes into it. Like I've, I did a few can'ts this week and I, I admit it, I did a few can'ts. Then I turned around and said, I can do this. It can, it will work. It's going to work. I'm going to achieve such success that a whole life will change. And that's what I kept saying in my mind. And I was going through hell because I had an argument with my sweetie because he didn't believe what I was now doing. He knew I was higher in debt. He knew he couldn't help me. And he was very upset with me. And I told him it's going to work. Please believe in me. And I had my young friend with me and with her little boy. And she was not really paying attention. And he said, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean us for having an argument. And it was continuing because he knew I was suffering physically. I can't do a normal job right now. So I'm looking for a variety of work and I'm doing some stuff online right now. And I'm doing some offline work right now, which is not granted income at the moment because I have to get to finish it. And I believe in this offline work. I believe that whatever I do with this offline work, it's going to increase our income. And it may take about a, a couple weeks to three weeks to achieve it. But you know what, guys, I believe in it. It's going to happen. And that's what we have to say. You have to stay positive. You have to say you believe in it in your heart. The more you believe things in your heart, the more motivated you're going to be too. So that's my motivational tip for today, day three, because it is like day three, right? My motivational uh, Monday, day three. I'm going to send this out to Facebook today. I want to get it out. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to be more interesting day because I have a beautiful uh, training. So that'd be kind of fun. But I want to say to you all that I send out these motivational Mondays to you all because I want to show you that even though my I myself, who are going through a lot of struggles, I stay positive and strong and motivated in what I want to do every day. Because I believe when we have a strong... Um, desire or a passion for something that we know is going to do well and yet we're scared because we, we we stop in mid tracks and we don't motivate it do do some do your gratitude every day do some strong uh, affirmations to make your mind mindset strong write your goals do you want to start with for the for the next day number three number four be with people who are positive and help you stay strong and motivated and number five don't look to the past look to the future and that's what my motivational Monday is about today. So, because I'm thinking exactly like that. I did my affirmations. I did my motive. I did my, I did my gratitude. Pardon me. I did my affirmations off and on all day. And I've read some really good ones as well. I had my goals set for today already in tune. I have some beautiful people who I've been chatting with to keep me strong and well. And away I went. I knew I needed to do this every day. And I'm not thinking about what the past is. I'm living for it now. I'm looking towards the future in a strong, positive way. So that's what I want to talk about today. Don't put yourself into... Don't get stuck. Don't fall back and become unmotivated. Because I'm here to stay strong for you all, to motivate you to do what your passion is. It's a good thing. And that's why I wanted to show and tell. I wanted to... Give you, share with you these suggestions that helped me along the way so far. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one because it's just a short little blip. I'm going to put this on YouTube and get on my way. First, I got to get onto my uh, my computer and get started. And I love talking to you guys every day to help you stay strong and motivated. And I love you all. And I share this to you. So give me. Th make today a great day in your everyday journey because only you can make it a great day in whatever you do. My love to y'all. See you tomorrow on day 280 of my everyday journey. Woo! Because today was 279, right? I'm so pleased. My love to y'all. Bye.